Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what will happen if you use thread.sleep in Selenium automation? Let me answer. First of all, thread.sleep is using per waiting mechanism, okay? But it is not directly recommended because Selenium has its own waiting mechanisms like uh, implicitly wait, explicit wait, and in explicit wait, we have two types, normal explicit wait and fluent wait. Those are kind of smart weights. But thread.sleep is something from Java that we can use in Selenium automation, even for waiting purpose. But what will happen if you use this thread.sleep waiting mechanism of Java in Selenium automation? I'm going to explain in this session. So there are a few drawbacks, okay? It's the last option, okay? You should uh, consider this thread.sleep for waiting mechanism in Selenium automation for waiting for the elements as a last option. It should not be your first option. First option should be either implicit weight or explicit weight of Selenium WebDriver library itself. Whereas thread.sleep Java mechanisms, waiting mechanism in Selenium automation should be your last option. If there is no other way, then only go for thread.sleep for waiting, okay? But what will happen? Why I am saying that it should be the last option? Okay, to be considered for waiting for elements in Selenium automation. The reason is fixed waited time. Fixed wait time means, for example, if you say, if you use this thread or sleep and uh, give some 10 seconds, let's say, then blindly it will wait for 10 seconds, even though the required element is coming on the page within three seconds also, but the extra seven seconds are wasted because blindly it will fixedly wait for 10 seconds. For example, in some situations, the element comes after 10 seconds. There is no use of waiting 10 seconds, right? So after 10 seconds, the script will fail because the element is coming after 10 seconds. It's not a smart wait. It's a fixed wait. Okay, because of which this brittleness in scripts will happen where the elements may come before time, after time, and the waiting mechanism is uh, fixed with red dot sleep because of which sometimes we are wasting the time, which will impact the performance, okay? Fixed wait is uh, wasting your time. For example, element is coming only in three seconds, okay? If you have waited for only three seconds, that would have been done. But you gave 10 seconds, so extra seven seconds have been wasted because of which performance got impacted. Your scripts have run very slow, okay? Because fixed waiting mechanism has been used here and there, and it's kind of not a smart waiting mechanism, okay? It's, if the element is coming in three seconds, then it's not performing the operation. It's waiting and wasting seven, seven other seconds for you. Let's take a real world example. You have to meet your friend, okay? You have set up a time. Let's say at 4.30 p.m. today, let's meet. But what happened was uh, your friend came 30 minutes before. He, he, he was there or he or she was there at four o'clock at the distant point. You also came, unfortunately or fortunately, you also came at four o'clock, okay? But your meeting time is 4.30. So do you meet your friend or you will wait for 4.30? That's the problem. If you are using thread.sleep, you have to wait for 4.30. Okay, even though you, you can see your friend and he came, you came, okay? But you are not meeting. Okay, that's not a good idea, right? So, but uh, Selenium waiting mechanisms like uh, implicitly wait, explicit wait, under explicit wait, normal explicit and uh, fluent advanced wait, these weights are kind of smart weights. They know. Okay, if the element comes, I don't have to wait for the entire time. I have to do, go and perform the operation. That gives us the flexibility to give even 100 seconds also. If the element is coming in two seconds, 98, sec 98 seconds is not going to waste. So this brittleness problem is also solved. Okay, if the element will come in 10 seconds, you give 20 seconds, what's the matter? It is not going to waste. Uh, if the element is coming after 10 seconds also, no problem. Okay, if the element is coming before 10 seconds, it will not waste the entire time. Okay. So when there is an unpredictable wait times of the elements to be displayed on the page, okay, in such cases, fixed waiting is not a good idea, which will either impact the performance or will, which will increase the brittleness in the scripts, okay? The scripts will fail because the element is either coming late or something like that, okay? Or the performance will be impacted because element came way before, but you have not performed the operation. So that's why thread.sleep in Selenium automation the dot sleep is from Java, guys. And in Selenium automation, it should be considered as a last option. If nothing of the Selenium waiting mechanism weights are not working, implicit, explicit are not working, then you should go for thread.sleep as a last one. Okay? Last item.
So practical demonstration I'll do uh, for this performance impact and all those stuff where it is wasting the time and all. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse IDE where we have the sample Selenium automation code, which is already written for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser. Here we have to open the application URL in the browser. Okay, let's open the application URL in the browser. This one, okay. Copy this and paste it here. Now, what will happen if I don't wait? I'll show you first. So there is a button, guys. This button is coming on time, no problem. But when I click on the button, the options are not immediately coming. You see, they are coming with a delay. Again, let me show you. Once the moment I click on this button, the options are not coming. I clicked on it. The options have not come yet. They are taking some time to be displayed. Now I want to select the flip card option. This is a challenge, okay? So for that, what I will do is first I will inspect this drop down button. I don't have to wait for the drop down button because it's there on time. And uh, this has a class attribute. Copy this locator of class attribute here. Okay, this class attribute value you just uh, and uh, create a driver dot find element by dot uh, class name. Provide the class attribute uh, value and say dot. Okay, click you say. Okay, you just mentioned click. Once you click on this drop down, the options will come, but they are coming with a delay. But without considering the delay and all, I'll blindly go and inspect this flip Flipkart option into the link text. Anchor text between the text is there. I'll directly click on that driver dot find element by dot link text and uh, provide the link text and try to click on that. In this case, what will happen? You see, till here, no problem. Till here, no problem. It'll open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser, open the application URL. It will wait for the entire application page to load. Okay. So Selenium actually will not perform operations until the page loads. So it keeps on waiting for the application page to load. There is no waiting mechanism required for the page to load completely. Okay. So Selenium automatically waits for any particular page to load completely. Once the page is loaded completely, this drop down button is already there. So you don't have to wait. It will click on the drop down button. And now it will try to click on the flip card option where the problem steps in, where Selenium will not be able to see the flip card option because flip card option is coming after a delay after clicking this drop down button, because of which the script will fail by saying no such element exception. Selenium is not able to find this flip card option. So no such element exception will happen. Run this. Till here, no problem. Drop down button will be clicked. Okay, let the script run. Drop down button will be clicked. But you see what's going to happen. We'll maximize the browser. We'll click on the drop down button. Drop down button has been clicked. Now flip card option will come, but you see it's not clicking. Flip card option is not being clicked. Because when Selenium was trying to click the flip card option, flip card option was not there. So Selenium has already given you an exception known as no such element exception, it was not able to find the flip card option. Okay, that's the problem. So what we have to do? We, we have different ways to wait for this flip card option. For example, if you have used thread dot sleep, what will happen? I'll tell you. Here in this case, if you use thread dot sleep and give, let's say 10,000, that is milliseconds actually, 10,000 milliseconds is equal to 10 seconds, import this. Now, if you run this script, what will happen is Selenium will fixedly wait for 10 seconds. Even though the flip card option comes in three seconds also, the extra seven seconds will be wasted. You see, with a delay, it will click on the flip card option. That is the problem with red dot sleep. Okay. Just observe here. It's not a smart wait. It's from Java. The red dot sleep is from Java and it is a hard wait. If you have given 20 seconds, it will be even more uh, torturous because after clicking the drop down button, even after the flip card option came with a delay also, after 10 seconds, you see, still it's waiting. After 10 seconds, it has clicked on the flip card option. Seven seconds, flip card option came in three seconds, but extra seven seconds, it has to hard wait. Okay, that's the problem. Okay, but but that's the problem, guys. Okay, so we have to replace the thread dot sleep with web driver wait. Web driver wait, wait is equal to new web driver wait. Okay, and here put a semicolon over the mouse on this, import this web driver wait. From Selenium here, say driver comma duration dot of seconds, duration dot of seconds. Here you give either 100, 1000 also, no problem. Any much you can give. If the flip card option comes in three seconds, it will not waste your 97 seconds. Okay. So it will immediately perform the operation. How means here, wait dot until expected conditions dot. Visibility of element located by locator. We have to view, view that by locator here. That's it. And uh, put a semicolon here. 
it will be done. You see, we are explicitly waiting for flip card option, not only explicitly, implicitly also our smart wait. All the waiting mechanisms in Selenium are smart wait, unlike the dot sleep in Java. Okay. So even though you gave 100 here, no problem. Okay. If the flip card option comes in three seconds, it will only wait for three seconds. Extra 97 seconds, it's not going to waste like a thread dot sleep. Run this. You see that it, how fast it will be. Once the flip card option arrives with a delay also, it will immediately select the flip card option on the Page. Yes, observe here. You go to the page, click on the drop down button. Once the flip card option comes, immediately it will click on the flip card option. You see, without any delay. It's not wasting your time. It's not a hard wait or fixed wait. So, because of which the performance impact will not be there with Selenium waiting mechanisms. But with red dots, the performance impact will be there. Since we have given 100 seconds, if, if it is taking more than 10 seconds, we have given enough time. No problem. It's very flexible. Okay. So it will wait only until the element is there. Okay, brittleness problem is also gone. That's why the dot slip should be your last option because it's because of its fixed waiting time mechanism. Okay, and we should prefer Selenium web drivers waiting mechanism, which are kind of smart. And the last option should be provided for uh, this red dot slip if uh, those Selenium waiting mechanisms are posing some problems. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.